Right, well hello and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. I'm sorry we're back to uh, needy dog mode. Um, just about my legs sitting this way, but there we go. We all do what we got to do. What we're doing, apart from having the cups after my dinner. Uh, we've got to go and check out this painting. We could... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. Yeah, you said that. And I got that one, but where's the others? There's got to be other high places, surely. Maybe we need the broom. Uh, but we're going to go on foot. I know we could flew flame. But what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just stay there, mate. I don't mind you sitting there if you want looking after, but we're not going to get up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, if I put my arm there like that, there you go. But we're not getting up and down like an oars drawers. Because we never actually very often walk to and from. Uh, yeah, look, see, have we been here? Don't know what that does. Could there be some? It is said. It looks like some kind of puzzle thing on that bridge. Um, I don't think we've been this way before. Or if we have, I don't remember it. We don't come this way very often. Revelio. What now? Oh, it was... Um, what are you up to now? We definitely haven't been this way, look. What, mate? You want to, you want to get the way you normally do? There we go. Um... We definitely haven't been this way if we haven't unlocked the flu flames by the looks of things. Oh, I certainly don't remember this courtyard. Are you alright? Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Well, probably have. It's one of the stupidest things to... <laughs> could you get any closer to the mic? <laughs> Are you going to put your face up against it? Well, no snoring then. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you snuffling in it, mate. We don't. Um, that's what... Hogwarts Crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle and a badger, represented each of the four houses, along with the school motto, Draco Dormians Nunquam Titulandus, which means never a tickle a sleeping dragon. Can't help but think we've already seen that one and I've missed it. Or, it's because it was on that episode they didn't record. Anyway, we've got it now. Whether it was once or twice. It's me, aye, aye. Gareth. Do you have a moment? Are what you do you want, me, Weasley? Gareth? I was. After you helped him with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Go on. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So... Yeah. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywigs things. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I well, was probably not a bad idea. I'd follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's uh, cellar I was hoping and you could do all the work. Things for, me. for a price. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. 
Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Perhaps. I'll need to get those dry uh, billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest. I'm not doing it now. We're gonna make you do something so which statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Shouldn't handy resource but. indeed, your field guide. But for now we're going on. Uh I ain't gonna do that knock knock knocking. Yeah, look have we not picked this one up. Bloody hell. Hufflepuff barrels. To enter the Hufflepuff common room, one must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. An errant tap will result in being denied access and doused in vinegar. Can we just not go in like that? Yeah, thanks. Oh, here we are. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder, thanks to that book you found, and in particular, its missing pages. How do you know uh -huh. about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, yeah, mum's the word. Surely oh. a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you're up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I okay. often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yeah, I'll be there. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. Oh dear. Sneezing sparks to the bitter end. Can you ever did work in a coal mine then? Great niece. Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but. It's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. I need the pages. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Let's hope so. I shall see you there soon, I hope. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But my only issue you've got, mate, is how you said everyone can keep a secret about the book and that. And uh, the common room's fucking rammed, big mouth. Right then. 1140 it says on the distance thing so bloody miles away but a chance to go to places we haven't been before hello again hello uh, look go and get your own billy wig stinks things i must have been this way before You'd have thought I'd have opened them flu flames, though, if I had.
Oh, we definitely done all of this bit about ten times. So there's nothing new to discover here. This is our normal way out. Isn't this way to Hogsmeade? See, you've got to watch this. Make sure you're going the wrong way and you're not. It just wants you to go the long way around that fountain. Yeah, this is definitely the road to Hogsmeade. I want to see what this is around here. Or it can feed you. I prefer Stalkers. Stop right there. Potatoes. Stop sticking around like a penny ring. Akio. And send it. Stupid. Can't get enough of that. Somebody left. Are you up there though, aren't you? I don't know if I can be bothered. Oh, this looks like a Merlin thing. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. It is a Merlin thing. Oh, well, we're doing this then. Oh man, how many have I got to destroy? Quick! Do we do it? Easy that one. Come up as done though, did it? Oh well. Can always flew flying back there at a later date. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. I know I need to move my legs on, mate. Stay there. Good boy. Sorry, you're not feeling well. Is it sore? Mm. 
Bloody hell, she's taking forever. We're all the way to Hogsmeade. Should have flew flaming away here. Don't get to pick up this sort of stuff though if you do, do you? All them lace wing flies you've picked up. A Merlin ting, so. Still 600 to go. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Oh, was that thick yet? From here, yo. It's a flu flame we hadn't opened. Okay. There's another one. It's four out of eight in Hogsmeade. Making some progress there now. I was only following orders. One there. Protego, why can't I hit her? I won't. I'm stupid. One. You got that anvil on your head? You to learn the error of your ways. Yeah, get murdered. Let me light your fire. Murdered for seven gold. By a teenager. I mean, how do you know that goblin was bad? Call me the Goblin Slayer. Okay, here we are. Right, so what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna this we'll must go be the place Minister we'll Diggory mentioned. Okay. Helen lives around here flames. somewhere. Yeah, she lives in that house there. It's got a yellow marker on it. Um but we're just gonna quickly pause the game and come back and do an edit just while I take this little monster to the toilet as he's just starting about the time he stirred and went. So see you in a second. Only be a minute. Right, I'm back sorted the dog out. It's like a place right out of um, a storybook. So we need to be going in here. Ah, here you are. Here she is. Don't mind me. You took my advice. Well, yeah. Oh, it wasn't really advice. It was a request, weren't it? Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me there to speak is. to you. Look at that natty cloak I've got on. Uncle believes Ooh. the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part oh, ask about. due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. 
but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw or promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. Labyrinthine. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she You've never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was oh, okay. to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand Anne either, really. Solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She's she mental. Speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If so she's mental. A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. What a horrible story! If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted Sweet. ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Yeah, but what what you were saying to me? Bow tie, cravat thing, and this cloak. It's an absolute rascal, isn't it? Oh, it's not an act. I can't ask that question. You said okay. Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. Okay. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive yeah. girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. Very well. Let's go. Steady Let's get to Azkaban then. Sorry, Azkaban. Don't worry, I've never splinched anyone. If I knew Don't what that meant, I'd be worried about it. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that apparating. Yeah, catch your breath, mate. Ooh, Dementors, Patronus. Tell me about Harry Potter. I've seen the films. Expecto oh, I forgot about the Expecto bit. That'll yeah, keep boy. Them for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank I've felt one of them morning. since I was about 25, if I'm honest with you. Place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty dementors. Well, Not even keep murdering all these goblins and you might well do. There's no need for such monsters. Someone come to feed me! Is someone there? I want to 
school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, Hogs, Field, Field, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault. Okay. And some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen. Helen. No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. Uh, what is it, Anne? Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, don't kill her. I'm going to be trapped in Azkaban. Oh, she still managed to... Did a thing. Apparate. That's it. You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get. Uh, I was gone again. But, Madam Thistlewood, I. All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jack Dawes' cave. Yeah, man, look at all these goddamn quests we've got to do around here as well. Let's pick them up. Should have returned by oh, you want back up again, mate? Now get in your bed. That's it. Go on. That's more comfy now than my lap, mate, honestly. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was God, just worried so about posh. Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor no, no. is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot. I did. I fear no, he got himself back again, into you know. trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them Come a here, promise then. he couldn't Come keep. On, I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help yeah, give the job to a 15-year-old. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes. What about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. 
But then one day, he didn't come home. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm. Only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. You look like he's jumping. Any chance you can tell me what, what, what no, it looks like? He'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardo, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Uh, oh, I thought there was another. Oh, hang on. What is the thing here? And I've heard it. I've heard it reveal. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Well, I'll have that. And uh, we'll peel for that. No. Oh, okay. Go. On. No, we're gonna fall off there now. Certain death hole. Oh, Kraken Cloak. I thought it said Karen Cloak to start with him for me. Revelio. Oh, where's this fucking... Well, that's really what? annoying, eh? Can't be bothered, though. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry, mate. It was a sneeze. You've heard one before, haven't you? Hmm, a map. Mm. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. So what are we doing now? It's good to happen to Bardolf. Uh, now we'll do that. Well, we can, but ideally, I want to be doing Prisoner of Love. Found out what Jackdaw left for Anne. This looks intriguing. What looks intriguing? Oh, that cave. Yeah, it could be death as well. Why oh, couldn't I get up that hill? I mean, this could be beyond our level. Uh, no, we're all. Okay. Oh, fucking strike a light. Fucking hell. Incendio. Get wrecked, yo. Say about that. Oh, gold. Waste of time. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. I think I get more sense out of moon cart dung. Akio. Incendio. You little son of a saint. What's 
Get wrecked, Dark Wizards. Nearly kill me. It's very hard with a dog sitting on the controller. Though. Literally sat on the controller. Poor little mite. Ashwinder eggs. Oh, we want them for. Days. Uh, da, 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 da. What's it called? Urdu potion or something like that, wasn't it? Not Urdu, but something like that. I should investigate. Yeah, we've already done that. And then it was locked. Still not there. Luckily, we knew the exact cave. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Rebellion. Not that no, one. That's not it. Yeah, I knew it wasn't it. Rebellion. But because I'd already done the thing. But you try aiming this spell. <laughs> You'll not outfox me, Jackdaw. Outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Rebellion. My dearest Dan, well done, you solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one whom I could share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can and I will show you the map that I mentioned. There is no telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peavers ripped from a secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. I haven't any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad to know I shall, not sh I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning. Richard. P.S. I am terribly glad you found this. I would have gone alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Don't sound like it. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, headless. at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? No, she spent a... How is she? She spent her life in Azkaban. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. Why didn't you exonerate her? What? Azkaban? 
Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind me asking, how did yeah. you lose your head? I was having a look Before about and I suddenly off. sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Beware a light breeze. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Okay. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Have we still not got any points to spend? No. How far, how far is this? 7.57 Well, we'll go on foot because you never know What adventures we can get in We might be able to kill some spiders Great spine dung bog Mate! Sit still if you're going to sit there. Do you want to get down again? Go on then. Get pain in the arse. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh. Leech juice. Mm. I hope we're not the other side of the Forbidden Forest and we're going to go all the way through it now. Maybe at the entrance, but we've come in from the other side. Yep. Running away from that. Level 20. Yep, we're in the... Oh, we shouldn't be in here. Yep, level 20 dark mongrel. Thanks for that jackdaw, yeah. Fucking question mark, it's that fucking hard. Just, just keep running, boy. Yeah. I made a terrible I've come to the woods by mistake. Holy shit, man. These are all solid. I'm out of here. I didn't come in on purpose.
Jesus Christ, this place is horrible. Whoa, big spiders now and all. Uh, hello, I hope you're friendly. I'll come to the forest by mistake. Should have looked at the map. Flu flamed. Nearly there though. We've nearly made it through alive. Yeah, well done, Jackdaw, you absolute jackass. I'm hoping that won't be a lot. Yeah. I'll chop your fucking head off again. Jackdaw, you jackass. Here I am. As good as my word. Yeah, again, here you am. Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Yeah, well done, now, dick. Where you go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Oh, Keep yeah, whatever. Eyes it would lead me to the forest. Bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Yeah, come on, dickhead. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much oh, you rather unfortunately coming back to me led me through the bloody dark forest you donut hmm. yes you know the closer we get the more i'm remembering probably best i leave you to it simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath adieu is that latin or greek hmm well, we've just been I here, and I didn't like it, and now, keep we... going. now we've got to come back in here. Yeah, I'll have some of them. It said level 5 adventure, I'm not in the Forbidden Forest. The waterfall. For a thief, mm. it was surprisingly as good as his word. Look. Sorry, my mistake. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Quick, before you get your head chopped off. The penitent man kneels before God. I've seen Red, uh, Indiana Jones' Last Crusade. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But I didn't actually want to do it on that one. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. Some more murdered goblins. Right, as I was saying, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, the penitent man kneels before God. So you don't get your head chopped off. No? I wonder how big this place no. is.
You do, a typical 15 year old, aren't you worried about how he got his head chopped off? All the juice. None of these sound particularly appetising with your breakfast, do they? Revelio. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Why did it have to be spiders? Lumos counter attack. That's because you that's because I pressed count at the same time as attacking, and that's what it does. It does the top so luminous great. Mm. Give over. What was I thinking? Coming in here. Some way it pauses in sometimes, man. Fucking spiders. There's got to be a big fuck off one at the end, isn't there? Right. Let's get that gear on. Oh, I tell you what, we're going to keep it. It's velvet. It's an absolute rascal of a cloak. All the girls will want to rub it. And go, oh, feel the velvet. Is it crushed velvet? Makes a difference, you know. So I want to be going that way. So what's this way then? A floating thing. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. I wonder. Accio. No, do you know what? Fuck off. An 
untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Accio. Set my first video again, boys. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? It'd be with that yellow indicator is. But first. Ridiculous. It's up our gear score. Oh, fucking things are horrible. Not Lumos. Keep doing that. Another puzzle. If Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio. It's not really a puzzle, is it? Twat that. Twat that. Twat that. One, two, three. Now oh, you got to do in a certain order. All right. One, two, three. Do it in that order then. Thanks. Remarkable. It's all right. It's a question, you know. Oh. oh, it's going to be a big one at the end with f fucking shitload of eyeballs on it. would have been interested in this loop, but there's no sign of him. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Accio. Right, we have many options. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Accio. Gonna be a long episode, this one. No, oh, it's not spider eggs. Ah! Oh. Yeah. 
send you. All that for a pair of gloves? They just better be fucking good gloves. Two more. And we've got some stuff we can turn in the book as well, but we'll do that at the end of the episode. It's not, it's hawk lump juice. I'm happy about these spiders, man. What the fuck? I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Well, how many times are you going to say that, mate? Untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search. Thorough? Oh, I would have thought Jackdaw would have wanted this, didn't you? There's too many possibilities in this cave now. I'm going to find out if I've done them all. Akio. Yeah. Okay. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Scarfs, a cave of scarfs, a loosened umber autumn scarf. Uh, I mean, like if I was exploring this cave, say with you, the viewer, and we happened upon a chest with a scarf in it, so what's in that? I go, it's a scarf, mate. Not a, a loosened autumn umber scarf. It had just been. It's a scarf, mate. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. There it is. More spiders. He's told me what the hell is with the jacked. Protego. Akio. Incendio. We oh, have fuck pig. Akio. Let me also. I told you to be big fucking with loads of eyes. I told you. Oh, 
Did I not fucking say? Well, that's one little and dealt with. It's another one dealt with. And a big one. And another one. Nice try. how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. I fucking hate spiders. Okay, one there. Rebellion. One there. I need to look around for the symbol. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's oh, no sign of him. Sign of him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, give over. Well, how many is that? One, two, three, three again, isn't it? Revelio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay. How do we see that one then? From down here? Nope. Let's find out where it is first. That's the same one. Just weren't quick enough is all. Just weren't holding my mouth right. And those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Well, that's how you get your head chopped off.
we go do better than that. Boss battle. Work it out. You know, but that's nothing. What's happening? Harry Potter ain't got shit on me, you know. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Um, how am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I don't know, but I'd learn apparel quick hold if I was you because apparate rather. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Yeah, won't the door open? Oh, it does open. Just weren't waiting long enough. What is this place? Wicked. It it's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention and... Might I presume you share our ability to yeah, see man, traces I'm the one. of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked the talent tree. Yeah, you will receive one talent point each time you increase your wisdom level. You have a new talent point to spend in the talents menu in your field guide. Yes. Uh, 
Yeah, I want that one. That's ice. Okay. Uh, Dark Heart's not so bothered about. Core. Spell cooldowns. Cool. Better absorption. Magic throw. Oosh. Uh, new spell set. Yeah, that's wicked. Okay, I want that one. Oh man, I want loads. Uh, I'm going to go for... Even though we haven't looked at more stealth through requirement. No Chinese chomping cabbages. Erdus push. Not even used it. I'm going to go with dodge. Sweet. Exit the map chamber. Oh, there was a flu flame today. I never saw one. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? There is. I don't know where we're going to come out. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough Back to distract to myself with till he returns with the book. Cool. We'll have a bit of that. Right then. That was a wicked quest, you know. Right then. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was awesome, I thought. I really enjoyed that episode. But thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like. You Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, oh, the banishing charm, useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Yes, I want that one. And we can blow people off cliffs. So until next time, try a bit. <laughs>